Hi, Carol here and welcome to my craft room. I am in embellishment mode. <laughs> and I honestly don't know where to start here on this. So what I thought uh, I would do is I'm going to switch over to my camcorder, whether I like it or not, because I can pause it. So as we go through each page, I can pause it, you know, do the page up to a certain point, and uh, I think that will work out much better for us. Now, supplies wise, <laughs> you want to get your, if you could see, I have all my flowers to the right and my uh, punches, my everything that I have been working to get ahead. So when I do each page, um, if you haven't done an album before, it is a continual cleaning and putting away and cleaning and putting away and the more organized you can kind of find yourself the better it is for your uh, sanity <laughs> in doing the book <laughs> so um, yeah and especially if you don't do like one after another and, and there's time because you're doing cards and things you have to rethink things and um, yeah so this is what I've done and this is what I suggest if you haven't done a book before, an album. This is how I do it. When I get to the embellishment stage, I take out as many embellishments as I can think as I turn the page. So I'll put it on this page and then I'll go and get embellishments for um, what I think I'm going to do here. And I do it page by page. Now what I've done is I have prepared um, let me just see here. Every page is ready to go. I know exactly on each page. Uh, I want to see if I can kind of zoom in on this here a bit for you. On here. Okay. So the reason why I don't tack it down right away is because when I get to that page, I'm not sure... Uh, if I'm going to, like this one, I'm going to do a tuck-in because I really like the two patterns here. And so this one, um, I'm going to do it in an envelope form so you can put stuff inside of it. So I have ideas for every page on what I'm going to do. And uh, everything is placed on here ready to go right down to the um, papers that are going to be on top like the black and then the craft and then this one is going to be a three tier it's going to open up like this one after it's going to be a three flip and so that's why I have this and this and it's going to flip right here. So when I get to that page, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Let's turn the page here. This one, I've already have the, I love this print with those roses in the background. Isn't that beautiful? And also I've got my two distress inks that I'm going to do all of the corners. Vintage Photo and Forest Moss is sitting right here ready to go because I like all of my edges um, distressed. And on this one, you can see that I've picked this out. And on this one, this is a three tier and it's ready to go. And if you see that there's a lot of space here, do you see this here? It's because lace is going to go down. This is the lace that I picked for my book. So there will be lace here, and then you'll be able to, I'm gonna do a double uh, pocket, and it's ready to go right there. And let's turn the page. This one, same thing. I have to decide what I am going to do as far as embellishments interactively like interactive embellishments so I have this one I have this one and I've got, I prepared them all this one I matched on each side with the Stampin' Up 
uh, embossed. It's pre-embossed cardstock. It's absolutely beautiful. This one I already know. It's going to be interactive here because I slid it down inside. See that? And it says with love. And this is going to be a pocket page. So I got out all of my little tags that I pre-cut. Everything is pre-cut in here, all the colors. And every size, ticket, tag, anything I want, I can draw from here. It's ready to go as much as you can. I suggest that you get things uh, ready to go. That's what I did last night. I just sat and uh, decided which papers were going to go on each page. Once that's all done uh, and completed, it's just a matter of straight embellishing. And I think it's just awesome. So let's close this up. I'll show you what I... And I don't want them to come out. <laughs> there. That's a lot of work getting that already. Okay, so this is what I ended up doing. I took gloss, uh, my Mod Podge gloss to complete this. Okay? So let me just show you. See how shiny that is? Nothing will rip now because it has the Mod Podge. It, it uh, two layers, and I let it dry overnight. Here's the bling that I put on there, the diamond bling on the corner. And then I remember I told you I put the YR16 down inside to bring out the orange. And I will do the same on this one. That's as far as I've gotten there. This I know is the back. Switch it up. And I have not decided on the front yet. I did, however, where are they? I have been cutting out some intricate uh, dies here so that they're ready to go. I haven't decided if I want to do like flower flowers or do both, you know, like do handmade flowers. And I also kept the wax paper because I think this looks pretty awesome underneath. I'm going to distress the colors. So I have all of these ready. It's two different patterns actually. Just see here. All of the guts didn't come out of this one. This is what takes the time. That's why I'm, I've got to get out my camcorder and do it so I can pause for you. And you're not, you know, watching me put glue on. So anyhow, I have those ready. And I have to do all the flowers, all of the roses to match them with the color here. I took out my, I got these from, in every size, the cameos with the cameo back. And they're, they're going to go on the inside on some of the ovals. I will put the oval cameo, you know, and um, this will be really nice. So I'll put cardstock on it and really bling that up. So I'm ready to go with that. Now I wanted to show you what I did with the first page if you're ready to start. Uh, unless I know 100% sure what I'm going to do with the cover, I'm not starting it yet. Uh, even with uh, right down to the latch. Remember I was going to do my overall, these overall gold bling to close my book. Uh, it was going to go like so. I think I'm going to do it this way. I don't know. I haven't decided on that. It's sitting there. We'll have to see. I know I'm not doing ribbon because I already fastened this down. So this is... Um, Okay, I cut out, with the tin foil. I cut these butterflies. It's going to be harder to, um, how can I do this? Should I just zoom in from there like that for you? How's like that? That look good? There. It'll kind of show you, can I back it up anymore for you? Okay, these are the tin, um, butterflies that I cut out. I think we did that in the last video and I set them on here. I put one here. I put a, oh, I'm not going to be able to do that if I'm going to zoom in. I think I'm going to just grab the camera for you like this. I put the um, 
cream colored pearls down and I went over them with the gray C8 Copic marker and went over that. I did the same with this one and what's nice about this is, and I used E6000, you can just plop it up like that. Now this, what I did to get, let me push this up, um, it just came out so pretty. I took, remember these that I showed you I got at uh, Walmart, these really thin dies? I took this one, I fold, it'll actually bend for you, and I took my pliers and I fold, put, I folded it over this, folded it, I hope that's a word, and um, took my pliers and pinched it down, and it has enough glue on it, it's not going to come off. So that way, see that? When it magnetizes oh my camera's just coming in it uh it just gives it a nice edge and then you have the edges the same metal on the inside and this is glossy accents on here and i cut out fussy cut another one on top so it had some dimension and did the corners so that came out nice then i took my tim holtz um this is the Industrious Stickers from Michaels. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just peel and stick. And I was able to match up the silver. Let me just do this. See this silver line there? I put one there. I put them on here. I This is going on the other side, so kind of ignore that. I cut fussy cut and did another one of glossy accents up here did the corners and then I'm going to put a tag inside the envelope and when you open this up I put another butterfly and I did the pearls let me get down on there in the gray tone down the body and around the bottom and I think it came out just beautiful and you'll be able to put tags inside the wings so uh, and that is magnetized. So that's using, this is giving you some ideas. This is at Michael's, not expensive at all. You, you know, if you use your 40% coupon, it's like three or four dollars. That's not bad. So I think the color with the copper, the gold copper, goes nicely with the whole, um, I'm gonna back it out a bit with the whole uh, concept of, let me show you both of them on there. And then the butterfly runs right over to the next page. And then I'll put a little corners in here so you can put a picture and we will move on. I'm going to show you some of the ideas that I have for this album. Maybe I'll leave it like that, it's kind of nice. I took a heart out and we all have doilies, don't we, in our stash. I kept it, there's two, one on top of the other here. See, just for some thickness. And some of the guts aren't out of that. Then I took this uh, doi this um, lace applique, and I'm going to put it down there, and I'm going to distress the same colors and incorporate it as a... Um, going inside an envelope. I'm going to do an envelope with my envelope maker and it is going to be an actual um, embellishment so that somebody can slide stuff down inside the layers here. So I keep all of my ideas at hand. I cut out black and craft with this Martha Stewart punch this one and it has the corner to it as well so you can wrap it right around I mean her punches are amazing so I did up a lot of sizes so I am ready to go with that this is and this one is a double edge because I don't know when I get to certain spots if I'm going to do a tuck in uh, so I did a whole lot of black and a whole lot of craft. 
and it's ready to go. I have these two as a tuck with the lace that I haven't used yet and that will be down one of the sides. And this is what I mean about the stuff getting ready. Now, um, what I did for, let me just see here. And then on the cardstock, I take out two big pieces, of manila folders like this, that I, I used, I sent a, you know, about 200 of these out last year and I stamped them all. And that's what I keep my cardstock in. So I have my black and my craft there so it's easy to access. The whole thing about this is organization. So I, we will finish this and we'll go on to another page.